Thursday in Knott's Landing. What's the point? Mr. Meltzer, what's the prognosis on your client? Well, let's say no one wants him to marry their daughter. Are you married? Isn't that the famous Dr. Samantha Salas and her intrepid husband, Detective Jerry? You're in trouble because we know who you are. You were here last week. Opening deposit. Knott's Landing, Thursday at 9 Today, on ITV. Those doors with 100,000. Quality Records presents Simon, Theodore, and Alvin, the Chipmunks. The Chipmunks, Born to Rock, a brand new album. Featuring an all-new group. The Chipettes. Plus all new songs. The Chipmunks, Born to Rock, new from Quality Records. It's in stores now. Matt? And I'm up. I'm up. We can't go on like this. <sighs> My father is not human. Where does he get his energy? Mm. Maybe if we cut off his hair, that'll slow him down. <laughs> that man goes 24 hours a day and then some. Imagine in Arley where they roll up the sidewalks at 9 o'clock, he finds an all-night jazz club. Well, I don't consider tambourine and an accordion jazz. <laughs> Good morning. Morning, Noah. Hmm. <laughs> What's wrong, Noah? Make Grandpa stop. Stop what? Playing with me. I'm just a kid. I tire out fast. <laughs> Grandpa just loves you. He loves me too much. We played Jungle Commando 12 times yesterday. Dad, hide my toys. <laughs> we don't have to, Noah. Dad didn't get to bed till 4 o'clock. He's got to be dead on his feet. Morning, breakfast clubbers. <laughs> Dad, I thought you were asleep. Well, on a day like today, no, I went skating down at the rink. I got in a hockey game. Two goals and an assist. I would have been here sooner, but I got a ten-minute penalty. I'm tired. I think I'm going back to bed. Hey, how about one more game of Jungle Commando before you go? Grandpa, you won the war. I surrender. <laughs> <laughs> what is for breakfast? Eggs and sausage. Sounds good. It's in the fridge. You know, I get the feeling that you are not morning people. You noticed, huh? <laughs> yeah. I got just the thing's gonna perk you up. I read where they're gonna have an Italian street festival downtown Philly, which will be great. Lots of food, lots of dancing. Maybe we can even take in a show afterwards. There's an ad in the paper. I'll go get it. I don't think your dad's trying to murder us, do you? <laughs> he means well. It's just he's from Hollywood. He's... Used to being up all hours. Uh, this isn't Hollywood, Matt. In this town, living on the edge means returning your videotape without rewinding it. <laughs> you know what it is? My dad's restless. Maybe we're not enough for him. Well, I hope you're wrong. I've waited years to spend time with him. I don't want him to get bored and go. All right, so uh, we'll just have to adjust. We'll, we'll have to keep up with him. We'll take vitamins. Lots and lots of vitamins. <laughs> and as much as I'd hate to see him go, he would probably be happier living alone. You mean you want him to move out? All I'm saying is that maybe my dad should consider getting his own apartment. Oh, hi, dear. Hi, Doc. What are you working on? Nothing. Just doodling. That is the most depressing doodling I've ever seen. What do you mean? I mean an ace of spades, a smoking gun, and a guy hanging from a rope. Okay, lay it on me. Uh, Doc? Let's start with, uh, the smoking gun. Nobody cares about anybody anymore. You bring them up, you teach them everything you know, they want nothing to do with you. What happened? Your dog run away? They don't love me anymore, Doc. They want me out of the house. Who? My son, my daughter-in-law, my grandson, half the neighbors. Who knows how long the list is? Well, shucks, that happened to me 15 years ago. I lived with my kids, and they wanted me out. And it was extra sad. What? It was my house. <laughs> they threw you out of your own house? Well, they needed the room, and, and with all of those kids, parking was very bad. <laughs> That's depressing. Where'd you move to? Oh, I moved into a great building. Seven widows, and they all like football. Any, uh, any uh, vacancies over there? Are you kidding? There's a waiting list. Those widows are famous. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Doc, I don't understand kids. 
You know, if you don't spend any time with them, they resent it. And, and then you try to make up for it. You spend some time with them, they resent that. You see what happens, Dick? As we get older, we become a burden to our children. You know, I looked at my children and I said, hey, I'm in the way here. What'd they say? They said, hey, you're right. <laughs> Doc, you think I ought to get my own place? I don't think you have any choice. Besides, you can't beat living alone. I mean, I do whatever I want. I listen to music, read a book, cook eggs in the nude. <laughs> don't ever invite me over for breakfast. <laughs> Doctor, I don't know what to do. I mean, how did you find out your kids didn't want you there? They changed the locks on my house. <laughs> I was so glad when you called and said you were bringing home Chinese food before I started dinner. Why, what were you going to make? I was going to order a pizza. You are a real woman of the 80s, honey. How'd that job interview go? Well, it's a very nice school, and I think they were impressed with my teaching resume. And I think they really liked me because they introduced me to the principal, the vice principal, some of the teachers, and some of the students. So how does it look? Great, it's between me and 12 others. Well, my money is on you. Where's your dad? I don't know. I didn't see him all day. Wasn't he at the theater? No, when I got there, he'd already left. Maybe he's mountain climbing. <laughs> I hope he didn't make any plans for tonight. I barely have the strength to put on my nightgown. Well, that's all right with me. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Dad. Where were you all day? Oh, I had things to do. Well, sit down. Matt brought home Chinese food. I was just too exhausted to cook. Yeah? Listen, tell me the truth. So, am I wearing you guys out? Well, to be honest, Dad, you do live in the fast lane. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, I've, I've been thinking about that. You know, it could be my being here kind of throws your schedules off. No. No, we love having you here, Dad. Unless we're bothering you. No. No, you're not bothering me. And I, I, you know, I know if, you, if I bothered you guys, you'd, you'd tell me. No, you're not bothering us. Uh, good, you know, because if I was bothering you, I, I could get my own place. What? Isn't that funny? We were just talking about that this morning. Is that so? <laughs> well, I, you know, I've been thinking about it, and, uh, you know, I've been here a number of weeks now, and, uh, <laughs> I, you know, I don't want to come home and find the locks changed one night. I've heard that's happened. <laughs> Dad, I know what you're trying to say. You do? Yeah. You want to tell us that you want to live alone again. I do. I do. I do. Dad, if it'll make you feel any better, we are behind you 100%. Be behind my what? <laughs> Getting your own place, I mean, if that's what you want. Well, you know, I mean, it's, it's if, if that's what you want. Well, we want what you want. Well, so there it is. <laughs> well, it's settled. Settled? Yeah. And a new life starts tomorrow. What? No, I just read it on the fortune cookie there. Oh. <laughs> uh, look, you guys go ahead and uh, have dinner. I got a candy bar under my pillow. <laughs> if you love something, set it free. Boy, these fortune cookies are incredible. Oh, no, that wasn't a fortune cookie. That was me. <laughs> this says, uh, it is a wise man who waits until winter to walk on water. Hey, Jillian. What you doing? I'm getting ready to send the program to the printers. Did you need a correct spelling on my name? We don't generally list toilet cleaners in the program. <laughs> I think I could change your mind. How about, uh, <clears throat> two tickets to the Sting concert? Deal. But I have to clear all program changes with Matt, and that might not be so easy because he doesn't hold you in the same esteem that I do. <laughs> you know, Jillian, you make it so difficult for our love to blossom. Eric, I'm a woman. Go find yourself a cheerleader. <laughs> Eric. Due to your dedication to the theater, I have decided to promote you to Chief Purchasing Manager. Wow, great! My first promotion? <laughs> Here's ten bucks. Buy a case of paper towels. <laughs> That's a promotion? Well, if you feel it's beneath you, you can always quit. What? And, and leave show business? <laughs> okay, Matt. Don't get upset, because I know how you fly off the handle about this type of stuff, but... Eric's been working here a long time, and he has a right to ask, and now he's asking. Uh, he wants his name in the program. Fine, put it in. Fine, put it in? Are we gonna argue about it? No, he works here. He should get credit. 
I, I don't mind. I mean, I look forward to our arguments. You always, like, argue with me. Okay, then don't put it in. Well, that's not fair. I mean, the kid works here and everything. All right, then. Put it in. I'm just going to talk to you when you're in a better mood. <laughs> Voila. Oh, oh, this is terrific, Miss Brubaker. I was saving the best for last. Why, there's no comparison. The other apartments you showed me were dumps. Well, this complex is really the finest in Arley. I have a place here myself. Oh, you do? Mm, right across the hall. Oh, we'd well, be neighbors then. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Well, this place is just uh, beautiful. Why hasn't it been rented before? Well, it's a sublet, and... Uh... I'm extremely careful about who I let in. <laughs> the previous tenant was a stockbroker. Oh, how long, how long is he going to be gone? Two to five years. <laughs> oh. He's lucky my stockbroker got 15 to 20. Everybody in the building was extremely shocked, especially me. You see, Marvin and I were close. Very close. Uh, everything uh, in the apartment go with it, huh? Oh, yes, everything. Uh, towels, full kitchen. We even have a hot air popcorn popper. <laughs> when you want to sit at home and pop. Uh, I'm trying to quit. <laughs> and wait till you see the bathroom. It has a tub for two. Oh. <laughs> You, you, you seem to know a lot about this place. Well, as I said before, <clears throat> Marvin and I were close. <laughs> Very close. <laughs> and it's my hope that you and I get to be very close, too. For over a decade, Mark's Work Warehouse has kept Canadians warm wherever winter has taken them, from the Arctic to the North Sea, even to the summit of Mount Everest. So it's not surprising that when you need to fight the cold, you turn to us for warmth. You could say we've become the official suppliers for the Canadian winter. percent pure solid rock silver eagle records announces the perfect cure to those rock and roll blues formula 45 45 certified solid rock hits Sick and tired of hearing those same moldy oldies? Get instant relief fast! Get Formula 45! 45 of today's most requested solid rock hits on four LPs, three cassettes, or three CDs! Formula 45 is not sold in stores, so order now! Something to pick up your spirits, add life to your party? Find it with Formula 45. 45 solid rock hits on four LPs, three cassettes, or three CDs. Isn't it time you got the music you wanted to hear? Order now. Credit card customers call 403-420-6235 or 1-800-323-3600 or send just $24.95 for albums or cassettes, $34.95 for three compact discs, plus $4 shipping and handling to Formula 45. Box 8325, Station F, Edmonton, Alberta. <laughs> you dropped your, uh, dropped your coat here. I thank you very much. <laughs> here. <laughs> so, uh, Marvin was a, uh, a uh, stockbroker. Yes, he was. Yeah. <laughs> Best in the business. Very creative. He, he handled your uh, portfolio. He handled everything I have. <laughs> I bet, bet he did. Come on, you haven't even seen the bedroom yet. Yeah. Why don't I look at the, uh, at the uh, stereo first? It's piped into the bedroom. Oh. It's also piped into the hot tub. Yeah, a lot of piping going on. 
Yeah, this looks just a little complicated here. Well, go ahead, turn it on. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, see here. You have to have just the right touch. <laughs> that, that's a nice set, Miss uh, Brubaker. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but call me funny. <laughs> Yeah, Miss uh, Brew Bru Bunny. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's, it's much better over here. The sound is perfect. Fills the room. A lot of things in here fill the room. <laughs> but come over here. It sounds much better over here. Oh, is that so? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Very good over here. It's very good. You know what I think? What? <laughs> I, think, I, was, I think I can put a uh, stuffed fish on that, on that wall. Halibut or something oh, like yes. that. Anything you want. It, it, is there air conditioning in here? It does get pretty hot in here, doesn't mm. it? What about uh, security? Don't worry about a thing. Because while I'm here, nobody's going to get to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, know, so, uh, you know, I just remembered. I, I have to go somewhere. Where? Uh, anywhere. <laughs> How's the game? Uh, I don't know. What's the score? Uh, I think it's something to something. <laughs> What's the matter with you? The Eagles are your favorite team. You usually watch these games with a helmet on. And I usually have a father to watch it with. Well, you still have a father. He's just not around as much as he used to be. Boy, does that sound familiar. And I was just getting used to living with him again. We drink the last of the milk and put the empty carton back in the fridge. <laughs> We'd mess up a newspaper when he read it. We spent half the day in the bathroom. <laughs> Boy, he was a lot of trouble. And <laughs> Face it, you miss him. I miss him, too. I liked having him around. Well, I guess we'll just have to plug along without him. Hi. No, oh, what are you doing? I thought you were upstairs playing Space Invaders. It's not fun without Grandpa to make all those silly noises. <laughs> I miss him a lot. Well, don't let Grandpa know that, okay? Why? Well, because he'll feel bad he decided to get his own place. And it wouldn't be fair to make him feel guilty. Hi. Dad, you didn't have to ring. Why didn't you use your key? Well, I, I didn't know what if I should. I don't live here anymore. <laughs> You're not. Come on in. <laughs> Hi. Grandpa! <laughs> ah, you miss me? No. <laughs> We've been so busy, Dad, he's hardly had time to realize you're gone. Not even a little. Well, you've only been gone for four and a half hours. <laughs> hey, am, I'm, uh, am I interrupting anything here? Of course not. It's just another wacky, fun-filled day at the Burgess house. <laughs> <laughs> Yuck a minute here. Sometimes, too. <laughs> Hope no one calls the cops. Yeah, we're having lots of fun. <laughs> <sighs> huh. 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 So, uh, how, how are the new digs, Mr. Uh, Swing and Single? Why, what'd you hear? Nothing? Oh, well, it's great. I mean, it could be better. <laughs> you know that down in the uh, laundry room, they have a dispenser that puts out five different kinds of soap. <laughs> I mean, well, I could go on and on. Have you made any new friends yet? What have you heard? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, well, yeah, as a matter of fact, I have. Yeah, a, a nice neighbor. She's warm, friendly, strong. <laughs> so, uh, things are good there. Huh? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Things good here, huh? Terrific. Dynamite. Yeah. So you get along okay without me, huh? Well, we're doing the best we can. I just thought I'd come over and get my stuff. Mommy packed your bags already. Oh, well, that was quick. Thanks. Well, when you called and you said you found a place, we thought we'd get everything ready. Grandpa, I put in my favorite teddy bear. The one with one ear? Oh, that's my favorite, too. Thanks, honey. Well, drop by any time. Yeah, hey, and you drop by my place any time. Oh, we will. Yeah, I just, I'll go get my bags. Okay. Need a hand? No. No, I've got to learn to do this kind of stuff by myself now. Dad, you're okay with this? Yeah, I'm okay. You, you all okay? We're all okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not okay. Excellent. Okay, here's my bio for the uh, for the program. You want to check it out? Eric, this is a full page, single spaced. I've led a full life. 
<laughs> Eric Olander, professional actor, played Hamlet in junior high production, directed children's theater, was up for lead role in E.T. I sent a letter to Spielberg. Wrong. Once met Mike Wallace's uncle. Well, I did. Wrong. I don't think people really care that you're devoted to peace and a free world. This is my life you're shredding here. I was just trying to fill in the man behind the image. Six foot two, 185 pounds, cleft in chin. Wrong, wrong, wrong. How about this? <clears throat> Eric Olander cleans toilets. <laughs> I like it. They'll think I'm humble. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. Was the welcome weapon, wagon. How'd you, how'd you get in here? With the keys, silly. You, you have keys? Well, just in case of an emergency. Is there an emergency? There's been an emergency ever since Marvin went to jail. <laughs> Why don't you come over here and sit down by me and let me peel you a grape? You know, I, uh, I, I'm really tired. I, what I like to do is just unpack and take a shower and go to bed. Put me down for two of those. <laughs> Look, Miss, uh, Miss Brubaker. Not Miss Brubaker. It was Bunny this afternoon. Okay, Bunny. Look, I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I think it's time for you to hop on out of here. You don't really want me to go, do you? Well, a actually, yes. Well, wait a minute. Well, what about us? What? There was no us. No, I just I came in here in an apartment and rented it. That's all. There was the leasing and renting. There was no us-ing. <laughs> You aren't the kind of guy who doesn't understand when he's entered into a relationship, are you? W relationship? Well, I just rented an apartment. And you happened to rent the apartment across from me, right? B you, you showed it to me. But there were signals given out. You sent, I received. No, I would, listen, I, I swear, Bunny, my, my transmitter was not on. Not on. <laughs> I, and if it was, I'll have it taken off. Well, now I get the picture. Big movie star comes to Arlie and tries to walk all over us. Do you know that I gave you the best afternoon of my life? <laughs> nothing happened. You call giving you my heart nothing? All right. <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of newspapers, plenty of magazines who will be very interested in my story. Uh, what story? I haven't even unpacked yet. Dick Burgess takes advantage of a small town girl. Oh, wow. who's going to believe that? people with inquiring minds. Wait a minute, Bunny, look, just this try and be... This Brubaker to you, scum. You're not getting rid of me so fast, you know. I am not some, some tissue you can just use and throw away. Yeah, you smooth talk me into renting this place, huh? I want you to know that I, I almost gave up my apartment to live here with you. <laughs> Excuse me, are, are, you, are you in therapy? Bunny? Then you think, you think there's something wrong with me, no. huh? Oh, yes, you do. Just make a small you talk. You men, you're all what? alike. Don't go a step closer, I'll jump. I, I swear, I'll jump. I will. I hope you land on the mailman, because he's a loser, too. You've got 20 minutes to get out of here. Dad? Dad? What? Yeah! Hi, right, come on in. I'm out here. Dad, what are you doing? Well, I was just checking the building for uh, structural defects. It looks pretty solid. Grandpa, we came over to see a new place. Uh, hey, Dad, it is very nice. Hey, do you mind if we take a look around? No, go ahead and look around. Hey, Noah, thanks for coming over to see me. Grandpa, I'm real sorry for whatever I did to make you move away. Honey, you didn't do anything. Then why'd you go away? 
Well, I, no, I didn't want to, really. What do you mean you didn't want to go? This was all your idea. We thought you wanted to leave. No, I didn't want to. When I heard you say I should get my own place. When did I say that? Yesterday in the kitchen. <laughs> you know, I just said that because I thought we were boring you. Boring me? Are you? I love to be bored by you. I mean, I love you guys. <laughs> we love you too. We didn't want you to move out. Does this mean I can come home? Well, of course you can. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> I'll be home for Come home Christmas. for the holidays. Just not Come home to the only collection of great time. Christmas songs you'll ever need. Oh, holy night. Capitol Records, the Christmas songs, the perfect collection of 30 Yuletide favorites. Do you hear what I hear? Oh, little town of Bethlehem. Heart the hair. This exclusive Christmas offer is not available in any store. To order, call the number on your screen. Jingle bell, jingle bell. The Christmas songs, the ultimate holiday treasury, digitally mastered on two LPs or cassettes, just $19.95. Two CDs, $24.95. Free to the first thousand customers, the 20-piece hand-painted crowning ornament set. Write or call now. Call 420-6235 or toll-free 1-800-435-0500. Our nutty family's nuts about nuts to you. Dad's decidedly nuts, but Sue's substantially nuttier. Mom's even more nuts, and Drew is downright L nutso. Gramps grows nuttier by the minute, while the adopted aunties are alarmingly nuts. Little Laura's still learning, but she'll be a nut before long. Cousin Cal's a complete nut, but that cool Uncle Fred is quite frankly the nuttiest. In fact, we're all admittedly, absurdly, unabashedly nuts. About nuts to you, the board game everybody's going nuts over, sold exclusively at the Bay. Domo is featuring this very special offer. Imported for Domo by special arrangement, these finely crafted pieces are part of the distinguished Le Patel series of elegant glassware. At any boutique, these quality settings would be expensive, but at Domo, you get one piece free with every fill-up. Enjoy jump to the pump service at self-serve prices and get a free piece of tableware from the exquisite Le Patel collection. At Domo, we jump to the pump for you. John offers to work for a political candidate, but the party she has in mind for him have nothing to do with votes. Dear John, tomorrow night at 7.30. Now stay tuned for Starting From Scratch, next on ITV. Begin.